What's up guys, Major here. I just wanted to touch base with you guys quickly. I've been out of town for about two weeks or so. So I'm finally back. I was like, okay, cool, what should I do? And I'm thinking, okay, you know what? We have the six month anniversary coming up on the 21st of November and I'm expecting quite a lot of players are going to actually come in. Getting an influx of new players. So I thought, you know what? Let me make a quick progress tips for players who have just recently started as well or players who have been playing but really have no idea what's happening. You are going to be coming into an influx of um, special recruitment tickets. What you want to do with it is up to you but there's a couple tips that I want to go through. So I actually wrote a quick little fast account progression tips for new players and this is actually on the stove platform itself. I will also be posting this to Reddit right after the video. I will link to this document in the description. Let's go through it quickly here on the video for those of you who are really really down bad and don't really want to read but you can always go back after this video and just refer to it as you are moving forward so first things first is it's don't sweat the small stuff man games are supposed to be fun games are supposed to be engaging games are supposed to be stress relief and just a good time you know so don't stress too much don't feel like you're behind don't let your mind get polluted by the idea that oh no i couldn't start day one therefore there's no therefore Ultimately, Outer Plane is a gear farming gacha game, which means that summoning all the shiny new banner units is all well and good. But the issue comes in is that your account can only really and truly progress once you've cleared farming dungeons and dungeon stages. And also that in of itself has a lot of RNG aspect to it as well. So you could make an account today and in 30 days time within a month when you've cleared everything and you've started farming you could build a character maybe one or two characters based on your luck that rivals an end game character that other people have been building for months there's only so much that you can do from a gear perspective that will increase your hero strength so simply doing these things will guarantee get you to a much better spot first and foremost let's touch on spending do you have to why do you want to do it well you don't have to spend but if you do want to do it it's recommended uh, just to support the game if you're having fun and you know if, if, if you have the means to do so i think that's pretty good um i would suggest that obviously you stick to your own personal budget and all that stuff and just so you're not going overboard and what i would recommend initially is just the veronica pack as well as the valentine monthly packs now now that that's out of the way and you'll see how you feel about that one the first thing you do when you get into the game is actually play story mode now the way the game is designed is you need to clear story mode up to a certain point which is 10 10 um, that's in the normal section and that's going to unlock your premium banners and you can start doing all that good stuff but here's something that i want to say do not force yourself to three star every single stage and really slog through it just painfully dying inside little by little just stop you can relax it's not that deep ultimately your farming stories hard mode for books and presents all of these are hero upgrades it's for hero progression things but they specific to a hero directly so once you've upgraded one hero that no longer assists towards your entire account it's only beneficial for that one hero so this is not super important in the early game um, and also way to actually recommend it to farm is in the season two hard mode stages only just for stamina reasons and the fact that you get a lot more resources to collect um, these particular things that you are farming but don't be hard pressed if you've only cleared hard mode on the present stages feel free to farm those two we were farming those in the beginning of the game before season two came out and it's okay for you to farm them now while season two is still bending you over doing the things once you have that done once you're progressing steadily in story mode then there's a special request dungeons you can do this at your own pace early on uh, because these are going to be fairly difficult right on the special request dungeons the goal is to get to stage 11 and 12 but remember early game your gear sucks really bad you're not going to be able to do this comfortably you're not going to be able to do this easily you may not even have the characters to be able to do special request dungeons right so you're going to just push and just do them as you're doing them per day see how far you can push with your current team and the recommended uh, is to go into chimera and glyces we i know they released a bunch of new dungeons but for new players this is the recommended go-to even with all the new dungeons this is a must because it gives you the most bang for your buck and the amount of time that you can go through this is really really quick even if you don't want to go through 
a lot of speed farming and you don't want to do a lot of speed chasing and all of that it's still actually really really good to get some speed gear because also along with the speed gear you're going to be getting crit damage gear right crit damage gear counter gear accuracy gear all of those are really good and they're going to be able to be useful in one way or another even if you're not focusing on speed those other ones are going to be fantastic for pvp you're not going to be getting attack sets or anything like that but it's cool you don't really need those in the beginning it doesn't really matter you can get those later on and then right after that the next thing you want to do is join a guild as soon as possible if you can't find a guild or you can't find an active one go on to the reddit go into the reddit pages go on to discord just ask who just ask around what's happening with groups and all this good stuff there's probably some groups for beginners go ahead and join those and start doing uh participating in guild raids that's the most important thing because that's where you're going to get your gems now these cost a tremendous amount of gold and early on you're not going to be able to do a lot of these but it's cool because all you have to do is just participate get the gems start stockpiling them in your inventory by the time you get to the point where you want to use them right and up to actually want to upgrade them and all of this stuff you'll just have a good stockpile of gems so don't forget to do that recommended obviously here is to build four sets only in the beginning from the chimera and glasses dungeons and then you want to switch them between your units to do your raids so you only need two teams technically so you can just take your four set of gear and then transfer it to your other four units and then transfer it back all's well and good now that's it for the guild raids of course there's other stuff in the guild but you can just go ahead and do that at your own pace see what your Okay. And then now we get to the meat and potatoes where you guys are going to be sitting with a lot of summoning tickets uh, when it comes to if you started during the anniversary or if you started during any other period that also has an event going on and there's some tickets that they're giving out. When you're recruiting, you're here for heroes. That's the main thing. You're in the gacha system. Now, don't feel the need to chase dupes. As we've said this countless of times, and if you're a new player, you might not know this, but we're trying to make it short. Don't try to chase dupes too much. Um, you can do it if you really, really want to but for fast progression on your account don't do it it's not worth it for premium banners save up to 3600 ether this is the gem currency in the game what you use for pulling and make sure that you only use ether inside your premium banners now relax don't worry about it you're like oh whoa, whoa, wait no i won't get to summon until i have 36,000 ether no 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 you can still summon you just need to use the tickets on the normal radar banners it's just it's just normal just you know have some self-control and don't use your ether on the raider banners you don't have to get every single unit that comes out on the day that it comes out it doesn't make sense that your account progression is designed in the amount of gear sets that you actually have so you could have like 10 20 different characters but if you only have two good gear sets you only have enough for two characters so it's like how many characters do you really need you know what i'm saying but also beyond the new and shiny there's some staples that you're going to need in the beginning right some staple characters that are going to help you clear the entire story a lot of them are free some of them are free some of them are easier to get than others with the whole new systems that have come out now with regards to elemental uh recruitments and all of that good stuff so the list is here um i'm not going to name them but there's list is here i've put some notes next to them as well you can go ahead into the description pop into the link and come read this or just pause the video like a g last and finally we're talking about three star units and this uh, it's a weird point to bring up but for people who may not have started this game yet and are pretty new three star units are the highest rarity heroes in the game and you know it's it's and luckily the game gives you the opportunity to build a really good team off the bat especially for pve i'm a pvp account and i work for pvp so i want to do my pve in the most streamlined way humanly possible there's no need to get fancy with it we use the staples right try to build your team correctly try if you're going to be farming chimera you need air other people will tell you otherwise and there's other niche teams and other niche ways to go about it you need a i'm telling you that right now pick it up from a summoning ticket uh if you get a selector just grab a if she's not a banner you don't think she's gonna be a banner soon just just grab a copy of a stop it just grab a copy of a you're gonna need valentine you're going to need eternal those are your three main three stars that you're going to need if you're going to be in chimera those are what you focus on even if you don't get a noah that is okay if you get valentine eternal a you'll be fine if you're farming chimera that's all you really need you will never need to use noah as long as you stay focused and don't go to any other dungeons just sit around on a uh, valentine eternal 
and then you can run whoever damage dealer that you get later on with them in pve you'll be able to clear most things trust me it's going to be okay all right guys that's it for me and just remember at the end of the day the only difference between a new account and a veteran account is the time invested but here's the thing you need to remember stamina is king this is a gacha game which has a gacha system for heroes and then there's a undisclosed gacha system for gear farming and gear crafting and gear upgrades and all of that you'll notice in this thing i didn't touch on gears there's actually another video that i'll be making for gears unfortunately i can't make it now i've been working on it for a while but i've always delayed it especially on the release because there's always some stuff that needs to change and they're upgrading some stuff on the 21st of november as well as some other stuff on the 5th of december so i'll be making the gear guide and forgive me when i say this i'll be making the gear guide in december when everything is concluded and everybody's at home for the festive and they have time to look at their accounts and then i'll be making that gear guide for 2024 right stay tuned look forward to that one there's a lot coming to it there's a lot in the works there's a lot of testing there's a lot of theory crafting that if you just follow these simple steps you're going to progress your account a lot quicker all you really need to do that's all you need to focus on don't worry about the rest somebody might say well but what about the arch demon don't worry about the arch demon the chance that you get a six star talisman anyway is the same chance that your dad who walked out to go buy milk 10 years ago is about to come back in the next week or so i mean if you have faith then good luck now here's the thing i just that's that's a joke you kind of do need to do arch demon um there, there's a couple things that there you need your books that's coming from the arch demon and you also need cp generation dice chat talismans so that you can do your pve stuff and ap stuff for pvp however if arch demon is giving you problems and listen to me when i say this if arch demon is giving you problems don't do it mind blown you just don't do it like whoa like what but like how am i gonna get my account progress you just don't do it you farm your gear you know you struggle with the mono team cp generation which is still pretty good and you're gonna get a at least one pair of dice of a talisman for free out you to be honest you might get a couple cp generation things talismans for free you can do it trust me you'll be good you get your gear up once your gear score hits around the 150 mark for your damage dealers and all of that good stuff guess what you can do now quote unquote team power doesn't mean anything but you cross the 100k threshold for your team power you feel comfortable now you go into arch demon you clear it and it's not a stress on your life once you've done clearing it you, you unlock the skip function and now guess what you can just skip to the boss because your power is high enough so from then that point on because you your gear is high enough you never have to do the internal grind ever again you just need to go in there skip it and go fight the boss as long as you have high enough power now the argument is well is that a long-term detriment to your account what? i don't know is having the joy and excitement to keep playing the game long term is, is that something that's beneficial if it's beneficial then does the long term quote unquote ben, uh, detriment of not doing arch demon really help you because i'm not just thinking about random people just doing arch demon i'm thinking about yo fam you're on a phone right not just pc emulators and people no there's some people who play this game on a phone exclusively and your wi-fi is crappy got a crappy connection in arch demon you're playing on the phone the frame rate is not great because your cell phone sucks and you need to you know slog your way through arch demon it's just soul draining just don't do it just don't do it games are supposed to be fun you have enough power to skip the whole thing at some point don't don't even worry about it but that's it from me and remember you don't suck at the game you just need to get Bruh. good